Hi everyone, it's James from Wanderlust FP and today I'm going to show you how to import video frames into Photoshop. So you've got some video and you'd like to import it into Photoshop so you can do some edits or maybe you want to make a thumbnail for your YouTube videos or Vimeo videos. What you don't want to do is end up having to screen grab all of your videos and try and pause it at the exact right moment so you can get the, the exact frame that you want. You want to be able to import your video into Photoshop. So let's open Photoshop and we're just going to go down to File, Import, Video Frames to Layers. And what we need to do is select a video that we want to import. Now depending on the size of the video that you're working with, it might be 720 or 1080. In this instance I'm going to go for a 1080 image and I'm just going to select my graphic and I'm going to click Open. Now this new dialog box appears and you can import from the beginning to the end and just click OK. What will happen is you'll end up with a layer for every frame in your video. So if you have a really really long video that's going to be a lot of frames. Even if you've got a really short video but it's at 50 frames per second or you've done it on a GoPro and it's like 120 frames per second. That's a lot of frames that you're going to have to work with. It will slow your computer down and it's going to be really frustrating to find the exact one that you want. So the best thing to do is to click on select range only and then you can use this neat little scrubber bar down here to scrub through your video, try and find the section that you want. Okay, I kind of like this bit here so I'll use this and then you can use these arrows on either side to pick the range that you want to work within. So what I want to do is just drag the arrows to the exact point that I want to use and I'm just going to say, okay, this is a good enough range for me. Um, this could be someone running and jumping and I don't know the exact frame that I want to use but I've got a rough guide so this has narrowed, narrowed the whole process down for me and then you click OK and then all of your frames have, within that range have been imported into Photoshop as independent layers and then you just enable and disable them as you want to apply effects to them then if you just check your image size you can see that it's been imported at the same image size as your video so it's at a 1080 height with a 1920 width so there you go that's a really easy way of importing video frames to layers in Photoshop thanks for watching guys